Absolutely. And, and, you know, truth be told, when I was, you know, working with an editor and when I was starting to make my own clips, I mean, the fact of the matter is I've been streaming for almost two years, but really in the last six months is when I've started taking it really seriously and saying, wait, this could be something. And that's, this is when I've seen my most growth, right? Um, in doing, you know, content on, on Instagram Reels, uh, TikTok and YouTube Shorts, YouTube is where I've seen the quickest growth. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I think there's a, a benefit. There's a lot of folks who say they prefer streaming on YouTube, prefer to Twitch. But um, the main thing is that it's just easier to post your videos on YouTube and then you stream on YouTube. People don't have to go to two different platforms. Right. But a lot of the folks that are on Twitch, they're they're stuck to Twitch. Yeah. That's their preferred platform. They're not going somewhere else. Sure. Now, they'll go to YouTube to watch your videos, but they're not going to spend four or five hours watching you on YouTube. Right. Um, but the shorts that I was putting on YouTube, those, I mean, I... When I first started streaming, I think I had like 60 subscribers on YouTube and I had zero followers on Twitch. Um, that number stayed pretty consistent. I grew on Twitch, but I wasn't doing anything on YouTube until about six months ago. And now I've got almost 500 followers on Twitch and I can't remember the number, but I, I think I'm over 300, maybe almost 400 subscribers on YouTube now, almost primarily from short form content. Yeah. That's, that's where the majority of people are coming from. I think the, people don't understand how powerful short-form content is today. It, 